Hi and welcome. Hope you've all had a great Christmas. New proof out the top of uh, Santa Claus. Um, so I've not been putting much on in the last uh, two or three weeks. Hand still be repairing itself. Uh, it's a bit better, still a bit sore though. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm back on it today, really getting some stuff done. Um, got oh, three gifts that I really wanted um, for Christmas. The um, beer school book. So I've got that to read and a couple of other items. So the first item that I got was a mash sensor um, that actually f fits into the mash. Let me just show you. It's like quite a large probe. It's even quite a big length on that. I'd say about 16 inches or so. But um, yeah, so I've had to fit that. That fits directly into the brutals. So, but when I opened um, the bottom of the brutals kit, I couldn't find anywhere to fit it because let me just show you underneath here. So on the end of the probe, you get one of these plugs and there was only the four small ones and one, two, three, four large ones and I couldn't find where the hell that would fit. But hidden behind here is another one. So that's where it's gone, inside there. So if anybody's getting one for, or upgrading, that's where it goes, lads. So let me just turn over, let me just put this on. Alexa, brewery on. Okay. So let's just go into manual control. And here on this button here fourth comes up and there it is so let me just put my hand on that see if that changes anything put it against my body i must be very cold it's not doing anything Well, that worked earlier on. Ah, return temperature, sorry. Mash, that's it. So yeah, you can toggle between timer, return temperature, temperature for the mash. So I'm pulling my hand off there now, and it's going down to 16.4. 16 16.3, it's, it's going down. If I hold it again, it should warm up a bit now. There we are. It must be quite cold, but yeah, it's pumping up now, 16.3, 16.4. So it takes a couple of seconds to register. There we go. So yeah, so it fits in here, down there. And then what you get then is, just spin you around, guys. Get this blue block. And that fits basically on there, on the lid. And then you feed the sensor probe whatever you want to call it through there um i'll, I'll show it a bit better later on um so i have to take everything apart so i can get to the bottom of that as well but another thing that i got as well was from my sister-in-law so to speak kim and sean was they didn't know what the hell it was but um they were told that i wanted one and they fed <laughs> so they purchased it it's um an aerator so basically the water comes through this pipe 
and instead of me having you see me put when i put it into the fermenter i had to shake and get some oxygen going well this now will just spray into the fermenter um save me messing around i could just leave it and do other things while the brutal's kit is emptying into the fermenter so thank you very much for guys that's much appreciated i'm in a bit of a mess at the moment here look so i'm uh Get everything apart i'll give it a good clean as well so just another thing that i need to do today and then i put off for quite some time i've been checking it down and it's cold and it's been miserable so uh the very oil bitter that i've done is in here cold crashings at 4.2 so that'll be getting kegged today Pretty cold here, must be. Let me just wipe. There you go. Yeah, so I've got that to do today. Keg and bottle a few beers from from there. Um, and that's that's what I've got on for today, really. I've got a couple of hours spare, so I'll crack on with that. Um, I've not thought about um, the next beer because um, I won't be. Well, this Christmas has been quite quiet, really, because. Mel, she's been working Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, um, and she's actually working today as well, so she won't be home till late tonight. Um, but we will be going out for a beer uh, tomorrow. We usually go out on um, New Year's Day. But um, so yeah, I've not thought of any new beers yet. I've got plenty of stuff in um, uh, in stock to be getting on with, and um, finally, wow! Did I have to wait for about twenty odd days for? malt miller with a gypsum and the um protoflock tablets uh postal strike obviously and god bless them all and hope they got get what they want um but yeah it it, it did hit me on getting the delivery for that really but uh i don't mind it's just a hobby isn't it but um yeah wishing all the posties all the nurses and uh, a better financial year for them making sure that they get the wage that they deserve. Um, actually, been on strike myself, uh, but we've come to an agreement at work. So, yeah. But enough about politics. Talk about beer. Um, and what I had forgotten about as well, guys, is I do have the stout in there. I had to. I had to look back, and I'm pretty sure now it it goes back to about September. Uh, time where I put it in so it's been in there three months um, nearly four really and um, I should be looking at bottling that probably January um, yeah mid Jan I'll probably um, empty that I think there's only I don't know a few bottles in there maybe eight or nine bottles but um I had a full keg of the stouts that I made and had some left and I thought, well, pop it in there, see what it turns out like. It's a milk stout, so I don't know whether or not that would be a good um, partnership, putting it in the yolk cask, because um, you want it to be a bit sweet and sweet and woody. I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a go, see how it goes anyway. So I look forward to having a go at that. Um, all the beers have conditioned nicely. The bar is full. Um, and I've also bought um, a sparkler for my hand pump as well. To try and uh, get um, a better head on the bitters. So once I keg this bitter today, i looking forward to playing about with the hand pump and the sparkler. And see um, what I get out of that as well. But yeah, that's it. Just a quick catch up, guys, and wishing you all a very happy new year and party as much as you can over the next couple of days, guys. So, as you say in Wales, yechida, but also this time, happy new year, blooding there with that, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.